Assalamu alaikum everybody. Um, today's review is a little late, I'm sorry. Um, I've been having some medical issues this past week, um, but inshallah they're going to be getting better. And so I wanted to do this review. It was actually supposed to come out last week, but I wasn't really able to move or anything. So um, today's review is regarding the shipment um, from Al Mujal Baba, which is a um, U.S. company based in Texas. Um, I have done a review for them before, and so she sent me some new products that people aren't necessarily um, aware exist on her website. And so uh, me and Eliza are going to be reviewing them for you. So what she sent us um, is kind of special. So I've never seen another company do this, but what Jenna does is she'll take fabric, like leftover pieces of fabric, and she'll sew them together to make new scarves. So as you can see, um, Eliza and I are both wearing um, these scarves. The one that she has on is a dark brown cream and a, like a tan. This one is a solid pink with floral, which by the way, this is the only time you'll see me in this much color and floral. <laughs> um, but I actually kind of like this scarf, which is weird for me. Um, so she'll do two tones like this, three tones like the one Eliza is wearing. Um, she'll do all the same color or pattern and stitch it together. So we've got this kind of like fire scarf um, that is a square scarf and it's been stitched together by four smaller pieces of the same fabric. And then she also will um, make them with similar fabrics. So this one, half it's a square scarf and half of it is this kind of starburst pattern and then half of it is floral. So all the ones that she sent us are um, chiffon. They are extremely lightweight and breathable. And she also sent us this niqab um, to test out because Eliza, as we've talked about previously, has some uh, asthma and breathing issues. And so we wanted to test all of the products to see how they would hold up for someone who overheats and has trouble breathing during the summer. So, during all the time, during all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but summer is worse for her. Um, so what did you think of the, the scarves? Cause we went out, um, wearing the scarves a couple of times. The scarves were fine. Um, they were cool, lightweight, not, I didn't overheat and die. So yeah, it would be good for me. <laughs> But we did have issues with the niqab. So um, I wanted to give a pro on this. In my last review of the niqabs that I got from El Mujal Baba, my big critique was that the elastic on it was far too large. And I had to pin it and then alter it in order for it to not just fall off of my face. Um, I mentioned, I think, in the previous video that I actually put it on my husband's head, which is, he's got a really big <laughs> head, um, and it fell off of him. Um, this one fits really well, so that's a plus. Um, but both Elisa and I had difficulty breathing in this niqab. So Jenna said that this niqab is made out of cotton, um, and so she was hoping it would be more breathable. but when we went out, you had to take it off rather quickly, right? Yeah, it was like 15 minutes or so. Yeah. I mean, I was hot when I got in the car, so I took it off to drive. But then at the store, I was like, I can't, can't do it after like 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, so I changed and put on this niqab instead of the one I had on. And we went into another store and I had the same problem, not as severe as her. Um, but I was still having some issues with breathing with it being really warm. Like even right now, my face just feels really warm because of me talking. Um, if you look, 
Okay, so it's cotton, but it's a really, really, like, thin weave. So um, I think I probably have discussed in some tutorial videos on how to make niqabs out of scarves um, that the ideal scarf that you want to make a niqab out of has um, like a weave that you can see when you hold it up to the light. So you can see light through it um, because that means it's more breathable. But unfortunately, um, this fabric does not have that property. And so it just retains the heat um, and makes it more difficult to breathe because there's no holes in the weave really to, to let out the air in and out. Um, I don't know if maybe like after a few washings, if it would become softer and maybe easier to breathe in. Um, but in my experience with like t-shirts that are made out of similar fabric, it doesn't soften as much as I would want. So, um, I unfortunately have to say like no to this niqab. Um, I'm really glad that the elastic problem has been fixed. Um, but I would say stick to the Georgette niqabs that are on Al Mujal Babo's website, inshallah. Um, um, we did discuss, though, um, this one has two layers. Yes. And we discussed how it might be better if it was one layer. Right. And we discussed that with the um, Georgette ones as well. You were more comfortable with one layer. Right. But unfortunately, Jenna does not make single layer niqabs right now. Um, she only does double layer over the mouth. Um, so maybe in the future, she'll come out with something um, to cater more to sisters who have trouble with overheating and with asthma and things like that. Um, that's part of why she sent the niqab is so she could work with Eliza and we can figure out um, the kind of product that sisters with asthma and overheating problems would need. So, um, Inshallah, that happens pretty soon. You know, we're going into fall, so it's not as big of a deal right now, but that means, you know, just more time to figure out what's going on with it and how to change things. Um, but these scarves are really, really cool. Um, and I don't remember exactly what they're called on her website, but I'll put it down in the link below. Um, and Inshallah, she'll be sending us some more of these kind of like mix and match scrap scarves um, in other fabrics pretty soon. So um, hope that you guys all liked the review. Uh, sorry it was really kind of late um, and I'm gonna be trying to play catch up with some previous uh, videos that I didn't do in the past week since I was having a lot of trouble getting out of bed or doing anything. Um, and I will see you on Friday. Jazakallah khair.